good day to you, partner. I'm Dean, and I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken camp. Hey guys, we Solo here, aka The Skeleton King. So, this was one of the videos I was actually uh, pretty excited to make uh, in reference to Optimal Summoner, some of the DPS checks I was doing, <clears throat> and figuring out, um, you know, the new best Optimal Summoner. Uh, I'd like to point out real quickly, because this is on the screen, I think going Dual Dream was a mistake. I think Dual Dream is too um, erratic in its damage because the variance, you know, it ranges from what, like 13 to 10,000? <laughs> Seriously, I, I forget if it's actually 10,000. I think it's 10,000 if you combine the dreams with how it stacks with his own aura and how each dream aura. Basically, if you have Dual Dream on the Act 3 Merc, he has three Holy Shock auras. And I think if you add them all together, it's around 10,000. And I, uh, I have a video on this if you'd like some confirmation on how this works. And so, yeah, I think that was that was stupid. But he's not in this clear right here, so we don't need to worry about that. But I think if I did this again, I would not choose Dual Dream. I had no problem with the rest of his gear. Getting high FCR is fine, his shooters is fine. But, yeah, Dual Dream was, was adding a little too much, I think, to the pot. We're doing a comparison in the Den of Ren which is basically now there's a map you can always enter in um, Renato's testing chamber Discord channel where he puts in implements things that you can test into the game like dummies and how they can attack you to figure out ATD, do DPS checks, and of course now we've got the Den of Rin. So you have this very consistent um, map-like element to where you can run it over and over again and see you know, try to compare builds to bed to um, compare builds to each other and see how they actually uh, how they actually compete. Now, my thoughts on this. Uh, let me talk about Travelords. This is by far the slowest run of the day. On the other hand, it was also my first run. Now, do I think this would have helped them a lot? No, I think doing this was pretty interesting because I actually think Travelords are really good budget. But this isn't really a budget map, um, and I don't have budget gear on. I have Infinity, I have level 52 skills, I have a very juiced up Merc. One of the reasons I juiced him up a lot was because I'm like, I have Infinity on, and I'm going to keep Infinity, because this map has 50 all res. So by the way, uh, that was just what we decided. I think maybe it's too much, uh, but it was just to try to be like, what would be a good number to just test any build on it. Probably it should be changed up a bit, like maybe lightning res is higher because usually there's ways to reduce lightning res more. Uh, cold res similarly, fire lower. Uh, here's a little I funny moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give up on that. Oh. So uh, the boss of this, of this map is uh, myself. Uh, yes, he used my likeness. I'm I'm in talks with my lawyers to to cease and desist that. And there's a little Easter egg for anybody who actually does it. I was gonna show it. I just fucked up my audio because I was actually recording the sound around, and then you hear that weird little static. Uh, but I guess it worked out because you got to hear me talk about how I couldn't <laughs> kill the boss of the map with Travelords. Uh, but unfortunately, you can't uh, hear game sound. And I actually think Diablo 2 sounds really good. I think it's one of the best parts about it. Uh, but that's neither here nor there, so moving on. The 50 all res thing probably isn't 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 the best, but I think that's not even the biggest issue. What I was surprised about is how tanky these guys were. Uh, they have 10,000, 12,000, and like 20,000 life respectively. I think the biggest actual problem is reanimated horde. I definitely didn't ask for that. I gave Ren a list of like four different mob types, one caster, one ranged, one weak, one big. And he kind of wanted to have a consistent theme. I understand that. I have no problem with warriors and archers. Uh, but reanimated horde are, are really, really obnoxious. And they killed off my Merc a bunch, and they can kill off your Iron Golem. Uh, they're just too good. I think they're one of the, the worst minions in the entire game. I think their design is is fine casually. Uh, but I think in actual mapping, I, I think they should be used very carefully. Because that charge attack sucks. 
So in my first two clears, uh, by the way, the first one, the Travlord, I actually give up. Uh, but on the council members with the Hydra, I actually do end up killing him, but it takes me a long, long time. Talking about my last runs, which are going to be with mages, is basically I did the order like this. I did Travlords, then Travlords with Merc, and then Travlords, Merc, Mages. Then I did Council, Council with Merc, Council, Merc, Mages, and then I did Mage, Merc, and then just Mages. So I do think, like, this is a video. This was actually the last run I did. Um, it definitely skewed it. I didn't think I'd have this effect on this map, um, but I do think, basically, my play got a bit better with how to deal with Reanimated Horde. Um, the layout, I know it's not much of a layout. Like, really, Keith, you have to get better at this? I, I know. Low bars we're setting here with uh, some of the finest Project Diablo 2 content on YouTube, if I don't say so myself. But that's, even though it's some of the finest, it's still some stinky cheese. <laughs> um, but, so yeah, I do think you should take that into account. Now, does that mean I think Travlords are better than mages? Uh, no. Do I think Council are better than mages? Yes. And I just mean, based on these clears, I do think overall Travlords are a better minion than mages, but it's like kind of hard because I've only used Travlord's budget. So we're kind of wrapping it all back around to that budget thing. Basically, you're really relying on their meteors. And when you're trying to clear faster, waiting on a meteor just isn't good enough. Now, as I've said before, I still think they're underrated and I think throwing in a few Travlords with Council is fine or even just gabbing the Travlords is fine. And that is kind of true, but I do think this video really illustrated the weakness of the Travlord, which is, I mean, that meteor, did that hit something? No. Uh, and also those fire patches. Remember how those DPS checks? Those fire patches do basically more damage than the meteor itself. And so when you've got a bunch of in-game content and in-game, uh, you know, minions around you, your mercenary's good, basically, are you going to benefit enough from the meteor and the fire patches? Probably not. But my experience using them for, for clearing content was, was pretty budget. I'm talking like plus 10 skill level budget. So very early on using a whiz spike crap like that. And I think at that level, I think they're actually amazing. And I do, I do think they're better than council in that situation. But maybe I'll have to try to prove that somehow. Like ask Rin to make an easier version of this map. Going back to how tanking they are, uh, 10, 12k doesn't sound like too much, but that is a pretty chunky amount of life for most T1s and T2s in Project Diablo 2 as of now. It's not out of line, but it's a lot. And I think basically just with the amount of res they all have, uh, it makes them too tanky. Now, Rin and I talked about it. He kind of likes it this level because he likes it kind of closer to a T3 than a T1, which is definitely how it feels. Um, and that's fine. I don't know what the best difficulty setting to test the map would be. I, I really don't. I kind of wanted just a T1. I just go in there and blast everything. Um, but yeah, this works too. And honestly, him just taking the time to make this for us uh, is really cool. So again, shout outs to Ren. You did a great job. The boss is really irritating. I'm going to take this time right now. Um, maybe he teleports a little too much still. If not, if you like the teleporting, which I kind of like, uh, maybe it's a little too much. I definitely think you should tune down his ability to resummon uh, reanimated horde because in certain situations he just he just goes off. So as you can see, the clear speeds are continually going down, and now we're doing uh, Merc Mages, and they do very, very well. And what was interesting was is that the Mages actually beat the Council members. Remember when I said I don't think, I, I don't think this means Mages are better than Council. For one, that was my last run, uh, but just Mages did a pretty good job, and I was able to kill the boss. While Council basically did it in the same amount of time, except took forever on the boss. Uh, that means like two different things. For one, I, I think my ability to handle the boss got better. But I also think just the fact that he spawns so many ads so consistently, it was hard for the council to deal with it. And that's kind of just the last thing to talk about when you talk about revives as opposed to your other summons. They're dumber. They're less consistent. And I think that's okay. I think they can still be a bit a bit dumber uh, because they are just that much better. Uh, they do way more damage. They have way more health. And I think their stupidity is what keeps them at all balanced, although I know a lot of people in Necro Discussion think revives are not balanced and should be uh, 
nerfed into oblivion or not allowed to be ran. I don't think it's much of an issue because like no one runs council now with perma summons. And a lot of people complained about getting them even when we had to resummon our minions. So who cares? But this is it. Um, and again, I think this clip right here kind of shows the dual dream variants. Like I stomped somewhere and just the pack obliterated. And that was kind of why I think I did a little bit better with the mages as I kind of realized, oh, wow, my merc's really good. <laughs> and I was like, why am I doing so much damage on stopping? It actually took me a second to think about. I forgot I put dual dream hum in it, dual dream on him at some point. And then I kind of remembered near the end. I'm like, oh, that's what's causing that stomp damage. So I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have shouldn't have done that. <laughs> and I definitely shouldn't have. It was really stupid. Too late. The Hydras. The Hydras do something that no other Necromancer Summon can do. They can kill things without requiring you to be on the screen. And that is the only way to be competitively fast in Project Diablo 2. That's how Poison Nova does it. Well, Sorks are just broken because of their frame data and everything else about them. But in general, you want to already be gone. You don't want to just hang around. That's why Green Goblin is slower than Poison Nova. That's why... All summoners are slower than Poison Nova, and they will always be slower than Poison Nova, and that's okay. It's because they have to stay on the screen for a bit to get an attack off. Even if we're talking 25 frames, well, guess what? Poison Nova is doing 20 frames, and that's 25 frames after warping there because you have to give your summons a chance to attack. So that means you're adding 10 frames of the blood warp, plus what? Each attack is like 12 frames with an idle on it. So yeah, you see the difference? We're talking about two casts per screen on one build, while the other build is having to do probably 20 frames three times per screen at best. So three times slower? Yeah, that, that's that's kind of fair. And I, I don't think that's necessarily how it works all the way at the end of the game, uh, because you're not going to stomp every single pack on the screen but if you look at optimal summoner builds compared to poison nova um i think poison nova is sub four and then summoners are closer to six minutes and i think that's completely fair and i don't think that's a problem i think summoners are so good right now and i i don't need them to be better i think i've talked everything i can about this video um here we're finally doing council merc and um mages and it's obliterating everything completely unnecessary overkill i left this for the end of the video because i don't know if it's really appropriate and um, most people don't even watch the whole video anyways uh but i just wanted to say shout outs to cory uh firefighter protecting his family uh it's really shitty skeleton king out gg Play with us, Danny.